I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program app recently installed. This error arrived. The program can start because APMS win CRT string L110.dll is missing from my computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video till the end and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So start the countdown. The very first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire DLL name. You can choose any result you want. In this case, I'll be choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. You can see a few download options based on the B10 architecture. To know your architecture, click on Start and Search for System Information. You can see my PC is a 64 bit and I'm updated to the recent Windows update. So, in this case, I'll be downloading the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has multiple fixing methods also. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded GFS2 files one is the DLL and the one is readme. We need to place the DLL file. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then local XC, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLL files. And drag the DLL and drop. I've already done this, so they're asking me to replace and click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check by typing the entire file name you can see the file is properly placed in this 32-bit folder and 32-bit job is done you can go and restart your computer this is applicable if you are a 64-bit user like me open this pc one more time then local dixie windows and this time find a folder named syswow64 this is the home of 64-bit dls and same again drag and drop check this one more time yeah the file is placed in 64-bit user folder too and finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, save the error tree lockers, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C redistributable and install a program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you'll no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.